Hello everyone and welcome back and I'm so happy to announce that 1.19.60 has officially fully released for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. I know this is really exciting for a couple of reasons. We've gotten so many new features and this is not a regular beta and preview. No, this is a full release. This is Minecraft Bedrock Edition 1.19.60. Yeah, um, and... As you can tell, I'm really hyped for this. Uh, I'm so happy it's finally coming out. It's maybe even a week earlier than I possibly expected. Um, it could have come out this week or um, or or, or uh, a week later. Anyways, so first off, I'm gonna go through the highlights, the most 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 important parts of this update, which you're all gonna look out for. And these are the things you're going to directly notice um, once you launch launch the game in 1.19.60. So we now have spawn egg items for the Ender Dragon, Iron Golem, Snow Golem, and Wither Mobs. And now those won't actually be in the creative inventory, they can only be obtained using commands. Yeah, um, then you can use a saddle and horse armor um, or carpet on some mobs will result in it being um, equipped. Yeah, so it's going to be much easier to equip those. And dispensers can now also e equip stuff like saddles onto horses. Um, so shears and dispensers can now only share one sheep at a time. Um, and they can also now share snow golems and mushrooms, which is a feature that they had on Java Edition, but we didn't have on Bedrock. Haha, <laughs> and we have it now. Yes, so the respawn anchor no longer remains it char its charges if it's mined with silk touch. Um, campfires will no longer set players or mobs on fire. That's a pretty big change. Um, but it'll still actually inflict damage, just not, you know, um, set you wandering around in flames. They've changed various blocks' map colors, so you know when you create a map, all blocks have specific colors when showing up on those maps, and they changed a bunch of those to make them look exactly like Java Edition. Um, you know, which is great, because we want the Java Bedrock parody. Um, of course we do. They've added 1.20 features that will now be available under the next major update toggle, which is going to be on the world creation menu, somewhere right over here. Right over here, as you can see, next major update toggle. That's what you want. Um, they, they've added all those major features, like when placing mob heads on note blocks, the note blocks will now play one of the sounds that those mobs make. Um, Piglins will now drop their heads when killed by a charged creeper, and they've added a block of bamboo and its strip variant. Once again, those won't be available in the vanilla vanilla game because, um, you know, they're 1.20 features, so you'll need to enable the next major update toggle right there. Yeah. Anyways, those were all the major, major features. Actually, there's one more. Um, the new Create World screen is now av 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 available for text-speech users. Yeah, those were all the major updates. Now we're going to go over all the smaller stuff. Yeah, because, oh boy, we've gotten a lot of changes. Yeah, um, so we've gotten a few changes to the Vex. And now I'm going to try and keep it slightly short because, of course, we've seen all these changes in the bays and previews over the like the last couple of weeks, yeah. Um, and I cover all those, so consider subscribing and then, and hitting the bell to get notified when those come out. Anyways, we've gotten changes to the um, effects's texture as well as it, its hitbox to match Java Edition and to match the Allay, um, so that the texture, um, the shape of the texture of the Vex and the Allay is now the same. S slimes and magma cubes that no longer spawn in spaces um, that are less than two blocks tall, yeah? That's also something that you won't see happening anymore, yeah? Um, then, of course, we have a bunch of changes to the blocks, aka, you know, the campfires, um, and so bamboo plants placement will now behave the same as Java Edition as well, um, which has to do with the randomness of it spawning in specific types of blocks, and crimson warped block sets now actually have a unique set of sounds. Um, when walking on top of them, of course. Um, pumpkins and melons can now grow on mycelium and moss blocks, which is a pretty big change too. Um, wooden doors, iron doors, wooden trap doors and iron trap doors, fence gates now use the same opening and closing sounds as Java, and we've got a bunch of other sounds to do with buttons and doors and stuff like that matching Java editions. Yeah, um, and we always love to see that.
Then, of course, we've gotten the um, the experimental fixes, most of which I just listed under the major updates part, um, you know, because all of them are pretty major, and we haven't really seen the big ones in the last, like, two, um, in the last two previews. We've mainly seen bug fixes there. Um, we have many, many stability and performance fixes, so um, many crashes and stuff like that should no longer occur. Of course, if you notice anything, please remember to um, make a bug report out of it and stuff like that, but many bugs relating to crashes um, have been fixed. So, um, we've also gotten a few changes to the gameplay, um, so a player entering the nether or end will now trigger a night skip if all players left in the overworld are sleeping, um, and, the, and raids will now trigger properly when the player with bad omen enters a village um, whilst riding a horse or climbing with their elytra. Yeah. Um, now we've gotten just a, a, a few, um, well, I'm saying a few, quite a lot of once again updates to the touch controls. You know, so many updates to the touch controls. They've, if for the ones of you who don't know, they've recently been majorly revamped. Um, so of course that comes with a lot of bug fixing to do for the devs, but they're handling it really well and we're getting all those bug fixes, yeah? Um, so, once again, the Create New World screen is now available for text-to-speech users, and um, they've gotten a few more uh, fixed issues with text-to-speech. Yeah, then we've also gotten a few small updates to the um, UI, the user interface. So, they fixed the bug where the mouse cursor would sometimes just randomly disappear. Um, they fixed an issue where text fields would not regain focus after being deselected with a gamepad. Um, they've added a missing error screen, um, well, a few missing error screens actually, and you know, that would be when an error pops up, but there's not actually an error screen for that error, so the game just kind of freezes and eventually you'll just have to restart it. Um, They've also fixed an issue that caused the Wandering Trader's trade window to show a profession, because the Wandering Trader doesn't really have a profession, because he just wanders around and trades, but he kind of just steals your emeralds. <laughs> um, and that's it. Obviously, I've skipped over quite a few things here, because there are so many bug fixes, and once again, we basically covered all of them already. Um, I've mainly skipped over all the technical updates as well. If you want to check those out, as well as some of the smaller fixes, then you can check out the change log link down in the description. I usually skip over the technical updates because not so many of you are interested in them, and to be honest, I don't understand half of it, so it'd be kind of weird if I were to just read it out to you guys like a robot. Anyways, um, you know, let me know what you guys think of this and what changes you would like to see in the next update. Um, but for right now, guys, thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye!